Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to talk a little bit about my hair. Um, I get a lot of questions about my hair, um, like uh, on YouTube, but also uh, in person. And so I thought I'd talk a little bit about my hair and my hair journey, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I also want to share with you the products that I'm using because whether my hair is natural or not, it's never been in such good shape. And so I wanted to share the products that I've been using and why I think they're fantastic. Well, I don't really know why they're fantastic, but the combo is just really working for me to give me this silky looking hair. Uh, and it's just really healthy right now. So a lot of times my hair is quite frizzy in the past. And finally, I find that it's not frizzy and it's not feeling dry at all. In fact, it's feeling really quite silky. So um, I'm going to talk about, first of all, the fact that this is my natural hair color. So uh, about 28 months ago, I decided to go from my dark brown color to my natural color. And I, I, um, yeah, I just, I had uh, the dark brown and my hair grows really, really quickly. And so I found that I was having to dye my hair every two weeks. Otherwise I had what I called the skunk line. I got sick of the skunk line. And so I just decided, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go my natural color. Now, while it was growing out, I really enjoyed the process, got tons of comments on my hair. Uh, oh, it looks so cool because it kind of looked balayage. So as it grew out, uh, I just curled it. And so it looked like I had white hair on top and black hair on the bottom. And with the dark, it looked really white. And so I was super excited because I'm like, I have white hair. Like, I was so pumped because like I kind of am a little bit like not so much now that I've grown up. Uh, I'm less black and white, but it, I tend to be fairly dramatic. Like I'm kind of extreme. So black or white, black and white. Uh, but I was really excited about having the white hair because I just thought that would look super ethereal and you know I'd done the dark dramatic thing and now I was going to do the super ethereal white scenario. Well it didn't quite turn out the way I planned. So once I cut off all the dark I was shocked that it didn't look near as white as I thought it would. Now it's hard for me to tell what color it looks on camera uh, but I'll just kind of go like this so that you get a feel for uh, for the shades. I put the, the lights on fairly high so that hopefully you could get kind of a feel for the different colors running through my hair. Uh, definitely more color than I realized. Um, if you go in here, you see a lot more white. So this patch right here is quite white. Uh, but a lot of my natural is still here. Now I still have a lot of white in it, as you can see. Uh, but my natural hair color was not black or brown. It was a very, very gray, like it was ash. Very, very, very ash. So it almost looked gray. Uh, my whole life it kind of looked gray. So um, it works really well with the white. Uh, that's in my hair, but I was really, really anticipating a little bit more white. So um, that was the thing that was a bit of a shock was, you know, you kind of get this idea in your head of what it's going to look like. And I found that I was disappointed somehow in the end result. Um, so again, like in my other videos, and I'll link them, uh, like they'll be in the description bar so you can check them out. But I somehow thought, uh, you know, oh, I'm embracing myself, da 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 da. I've talked about the fact that it's been a journey, a self acceptance journey. So awesome. Like, it's been fantastic the whole entire process. But what I realized when I got to this color was that it was still me needing to accept it because it wasn't quite what I expected. So it's learning how to embrace who you are, what you get all of that, be thankful. Um, and so that's been a process because I was anticipating white. I was anticipating a crown of white. That was what I was looking for. Maybe because part of me wants to be a white wizard or maybe part of me wants to be some sort of elvish creature. And I was hoping that the white hair would give me that. So um, instead I got my natural colors still in there and then uh, like streaks of white through it. So people still look at my hair and some people will say that it looks gray. 
Uh, in other light, it looks like a really, really light blonde. A lot of people wonder if it's processed. Uh, and as you can see, like it looks like it's newly processed all the time. No dark roots. Uh, just really, really quite light. So um, it's definitely taken me a bit of getting used to, but I am enjoying it. So overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, I, like I said, wish there was more white, but I'm fine with it the way it is. Um, I think that I have been tempted to put some semi, like some semi-permanent type washes in, like doing like a violet or a uh, rose gold or something like that. But I want to just really get comfortable in this color first before I play around with it. So um, like to me, this isn't sacred. It's like, okay, this is my color. I'm never going to do anything different with it. Uh, but um, for now, I want to still get comfortable with it because part of me uh, still is trying to get used to it. It's, it's a shocker every time I look in the mirror and I see this blonde uh, when I had dark hair for so many years. Now, a couple of the things that I know uh, have definitely happened for me transitioning to my natural color. My skin looks healthier. It looks um, a little bit more youthful. Um, and also it works way better with my eyebrows. So I'm not near, having to do near as much to my eyebrows. Uh, if I don't have makeup on, I look uh, like I look normal, not like white eyebrows and dark hair, you know? <laughs> so uh, overall, I think this color works what, better with my skin than the dark hair did. I actually think I look younger, even though my hair in different light looks actually quite gray or silver. Um, I think I actually look younger. So um, overall, an incredible experience. I highly recommend if you're considering going gray uh, or going to your natural color. It's so worth it. It's so worth it to give it a try. Uh, yes, it takes time, but like I've said in my other videos, that whole entire process really kind of helps you explore who you are. It's really quite empowering and it's been a fantastic ex experience. Now to the products, I'm just quickly going to go through them. Um, for the longest time, I was using the Unite 7 Seconds uh, whole line, so the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, it's really pricey, so um, not too long ago, I switched over to the uh, Tea Tree line. I think it's Paul Mitchell. This is a Paul Mitchell line. It's the Tea Tree Lavender and Mint Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'll leave it all linked down below. Um, I First of all, I love the smell of the shampoo. It smells very spa-like. So it smells like lavender and mint, and I just love it. I find it extremely refreshing in the shower. Uh, but I have never had such healthy hair. So when I switched over this, I was using the Unite. It was like I really liked it. Uh, but my hair still felt dry and so I switched over to this and I was really really enjoying it it was comparable in quality but a better price but then what took my hair over the edge was I started to use the Unite 7 seconds detangler leave-in conditioner this I feel like transformed my hair it just gave my hair the the extra moisture that it needed so uh, before that I found that my ends felt really dry now it feels super silky. Uh, basically, I, um, I, I use the conditioner and then I use a couple styling products. And then basically, uh, I run a hot iron through it and it stays nice for the week. Like it just, it, it, you know, it, it's working really well. So um, before I go on to my styling products, the only thing that I use to tame my hair right now is the Frames, Framesy? From easy from easy maybe uh, <laughs> color lover dynamic blonde violet uh, shampoo oh yeah down here I can read it from easy so this stuff is horrible um, it's extremely drying on my hair so what I do instead of leaving and the other thing is is because my hair is so white uh, if I leave this on my hair my hair turns uh, violet like I get uh, you know lavender streaks through my hair which I hate so I want my hair toned. I don't, I want to pull out any brassiness, but I don't want to have like blue hair, lavender hair, anything like that, unless I intentionally do it. So what I do is I literally, and also because this is so dry, 
what I do is I put my shampoo in my hand and then I literally put a drop of this to just give it a bit of color. Uh, so to get the shampoo a little bit violety, I put it in my hair, wash it right out. So I shampoo my hair as per normal and this just helps tone out any brassiness uh, without toning my hair a different color. So I hope that makes sense. So I've been using it like that. Uh, I, I don't recommend purple shampoo unless it's in major moderation because it is so drying on the hair. Then when I get out of the shower, I put on my detangler. Then uh, sometimes if my hair is needing it, I don't find I usually need it. I'll use an oil and I use this U Oil Argon by Unite. The reason why I like this is it's clear. So if I use a Moroccan oil that's like golden on this hair, it's not gonna work really well. So a clear oil is what I wanna use when your hair is this kind of silvery color. Uh, and then I put on, I love this product, Unite Boosta Thickening Cream. So I use this kind of on my ends up to about here. Uh, and then I use this Unite Liquid Volume Instant Texture Hold for uh, just in the roots. So I'll just lift my hair up and spray it kind of in the roots. Um, and then I just give it like a really good massage. So I massage everything around and then uh, I blow dry it and then I put the straightener through. I know uh, probably I could do a blowout. I'm terrible at blowouts, so I'd rather just blow dry my hair. Um, the other thing that I do when I blow dry my hair, uh, a good tip is to blow dry on medium. I tend to blow dry on hot because I wanna get it done, but then I give it a really cold blast, so I make sure that my whole head is cold uh, with the cold air part of my blower. Uh, and just make sure, especially in the roots, that I've blown my roots cold, uh, like kind of holding them up to get as much volume as possible. So then, yeah, I just give it a really good boost of cold, like kind of flipped upside down. And then uh, I basically just uh, put the straight iron through it and then I'm good to go for pretty much the whole week. So today I didn't do anything with it. So uh, maybe you think it's ugly, but... <laughs> That's what I got going on and it's working for me. So what I'm really loving is this combo of products has given me silky, smooth, soft hair. It's healthy. It doesn't go frizzy during the week and I love it. So um, yeah, that's what I'm using. Um, if you have products that you're loving, let me know. But I'm just finding this is such a great, great combo. And for whatever reason, this leave-in conditioner to me is a phenomenal product like I absolutely love it so uh, but I really love the Paul Mitchell stuff too it's uh, really really moisturizing and my hair literally in my whole entire life I have never known my hair to feel this healthy normally it's always felt dry so the fact that it feels this soft I just I can't get over it so check out these products if you have any questions let me know um, are you transitioning uh, your hair to silver are you going to become a silver sister if you are leave a comment down below I would love to encourage you in that and um, if you have a fantastic product that you're using that you love in your hair leave it in the comments um, yeah let's just have a let's just have a conversation I guess that's it so uh, have an amazing week we'll talk to you soon